What's up everybody, so today I'm going to be working on this O2 Acura RSX. Uh, this is actually not my vehicle, it's my brother's. Um, but he is currently working out of state, he doesn't have the time or anything to do the work that needs to be done on it uh, to at least get it movable again. And I also kind of just want to uh, get it all back together, reassembled, so that I can move it out of my big garage bay here and get hopefully get my truck in here so I can finish up the 6 swap on that. Um, as you can see here, while he was back here, uh, I helped him work on it a little bit and uh, we got these lower, er, lower, I was gonna say lower control arms, we got these uh, lowering coilovers in here, they're teen, or teen, however you pronounce that, and also replaced the tie rods and tie rod ends with uh, some K-Pro adjustable, or they're more adjustable anyway, uh, tie rods. And yeah, so I'm just, and then also had some bushings pressed in here on the lower control arms that are, I believe, polyurethane uh, bushings. And also the uh, ball joint here was pressed into the hub or spindle assembly there, whatever you want to call that. But yeah, so I'm going to be putting on these lower control arms today. Uh, getting the spindles mounted up and hopefully getting this thing uh, to a point where it's ready to move out of this garage bay so I can get my truck in here and work on that. Um, anyway, I thought I would touch on the subject of my GTI. Uh, you may have seen my last video where I had posted it up for sale and there's a few reasons why I did that. Um, one, because I, I just don't have really funds to continue working on it. I could use those funds for, uh, you know, starting another project or whatever. And that just ended up not working out. I, I kept getting lowballed and, you know, I was also entertaining the possibility of trading it, uh, for some other vehicle that I'd be more interested in modifying. And, you know, it just didn't work out. So I decided to keep it and I don't know, I may, I may keep slowly modifying it. Uh, as time goes on, but uh, I don't know if I'd said it before, but I pretty much just bought that to be a daily driver. I didn't intend on modifying it or anything. It just kind of happened because of the balance shaft seizing up and causing all those problems that I had and fixed. So yeah, and then I actually recently just posted it up again, um, only for trade, just to see what kind of trades that I could get. I'm really trying to get back into something that's rear-wheel drive or possibly even all-wheel drive. Um, I don't know. I'll see what kind of trade offers I get. If I get anything that kind of stands out and I think would be good for content, then I may do that. But I don't know. It's probably more likely that I'll just keep it and continue modifying it and have fun with it. But we'll see. So, yeah. Going to do these lower control arms first and then... Uh, Move on to those spindles, get everything mounted up, and get this thing out of the garage. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into it, guys. So there is the first lower control arm and spindle back on there. You may have noticed in that last uh, time lapse there that I accidentally put the wrong <laughs> spindle and everything on there. And I noticed because, well, I couldn't remember which side the uh, caliber bolted onto, but I, I noticed because there's a bracket for the ABS sensor that's supposed to be on the front here. Uh, so that was pretty easy to just take it back off there. And, uh, put the right one on it. So yeah, this one's on here. It's not completely done yet. I still have to tighten up all these bolts for the shock mounts, the bolts for the lower control or uh, the sway bar end links, and um, this ball joint down here. Uh, but the main components are out of the way. I've just got to put on the rotor and the caliper now and get all those bolts snugged up. But I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the other side and do the same thing over there.
Alrighty, so as you can see here, the Acura RSX is now out of the garage and we've pretty much finished up all the work that we can do at this point. Uh, my brother did end up coming back for a little bit. Uh, we did a little bit more work to it, got the, well, we were going to do the rear suspension, those TN coilovers in the back, but for some reason the shock mounts, the bolt on the bottom, it just would not come out of there. Um, on the passenger side anyway we did end up changing the, the driver's side but like I said we had a bit of a problem with the quill over bolt that's on the bottom of the strut it just would not come out of there uh, we soaked it in PB blaster we heated it up for a good three maybe five minutes trying to put some heat in there to uh, loosen it up that way and it just would not come out so uh, we're gonna have to either take it to a shop that has better tools to properly take care of that situation either that um get a new trailing arm which i think he said was around like 300 bucks which that's not too bad because it comes with all new bushings and everything or the other option is there's basically a welded on nut on the back side of the trailing arm that the bolt bolts into and that could be our next option is to just cut that nut off and re-weld another nut in there. Um, I don't believe he's wanting to go that route. Uh, I'm not too sure. But like I said, so we installed the coilover on the left hand rear side of the car and just could not get that bolt out to do everything on the passenger side. So that's pretty much going to conclude everything for this video. I'd like to get a video of it, you know, running, driving, all that good stuff, but it's not my vehicle. I don't feel like it's my place to be doing anything like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to conclude this video. And you may have noticed what I was just walking by there. I finally got my truck back, but unfortunately the person that I paid to do the job didn't complete it. And, yeah. So there's my truck. It is an 03 Chevy Avalanche. Um, it came stock with the 5.3 motor. It has the 4L60 with the towing package. So it's a uh, six lug. Yeah, six lug. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be talking about that more in my next video. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate everything. All your support, all the likes, all the, all the views all that stuff. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.